Greetings and welcome back to the Heel of Italy. We are playing as Count Irenaeus of Bredension. We are of the Macedon dynasty. We have a blinded wife <laughs> who's 51 years old. And we have one son, Leon Macedon. And he is turning out to be a great heir. So, last episode we actually switched to seniority in Bulgaria. We are under Bulgaria, and Bulgaria in turn is under the Byzantine Empire. So, I would really like to switch to seniority. But, I do not think the, that it, it will be possible. It might be if we allow the Byzantine Empire to um, uh, increase its crown authority, because I don't know... It's limited right now. Yeah, we need to make sure it's... Uh, I think Bulgaria as well. Uh, let's see. Bulgarian laws are... Oh, they are the same as the Byzantine Empire, of course. Um, and Bulgaria will be inherited by my uncle and then my, my kinsman. So, um, it will um, slowly consolidate into a huge unit. And what I want to do is set this as um, seniority. And to do that, we need to uh, allow the Byzantines to increase the crown authority, and we can't really affect that. But seeing as uh, the current emperor is a, a drunkard, it's not very likely that he will increase the crown authority. And uh, we seem to be lacking... We're still lacking an ecclesiarch. Still, this will not stop us from scheming. Currently, we're... Um, Claiming this province here, and I do not think we have any other claims. Well, we have a claim on Apulia, but it's held by the Basilius himself. We also have... we had a claim here, but... Uh, yeah, this guy is not under uh, Bulgaria. No, it's only us. It's only us that are under Bulgaria. The rest of Bulgaria is here. But still, seniority will work in our favor. Also, it seems like the Shia Caliphate here is slowly being, um, well, driven out of France. Well, s emphasis on slowly here. They've been around for a long time, spread a lot of religion and some Egyptian culture even. But Aragon here, led by our first dynasty, the Tylefers, are slowly regaining their um, ancestral lands. There's, uh, they are running elective, and that's a fine... Fine, fine um, in law. Also, Frisia here. Who uh, took over all of Germany. <laughs> I'm so impressed. All you people from Holland and uh, the Netherlands out there should be proud of yourselves. Anyway, we need to speed up time to make things happen. I do believe. Uh, Alright, so this is not even our... We don't hold any vassals. I was under the impression that we had quite a few vassals. Didn't we? We gave our, like our... Let's see, this is the guy we started out as, I think. Alright, so... I lost a lot of stuff. For no apparent reason. No, I'm, I'm holding it myself, of course, but I lost um, this. Apparently, when my brother died, it went to the Byzantine Emperor instead of me. Which I'm not sure if I'm fine with. Uh, Abbas in the Holy War for Cilicia, we're winning that. And, uh, let's see. Do Bernadine for Bulgaria. He might win, his faction is super strong. Yeah, what we want to do is just wait for the Byzantine Empire to... Uh... Hmm. Let's hope that I don't die. <laughs> what we want to do is... By the way, what the fuck? So, Khomeini has converted to Islam. No, no, they have not. That's Aktobi. That must have been... Uh... No? Where's Aktobi then? Aktobi... Uh... Here they are. No, wait, it was Tiumen. 
I'm confusing them. So they managed to form Comania. I am uh, sincerely impressed, to be honest. And unfortunately, it seems like the last Jewish province, wherever it was, has been converted. So, no more Jewish people. They started out so good. And here, we here we have Karl's land, thriving. Their heir is... Uh... Well, see, they, they did regain their pagan shield when I saved and reloaded. I wonder why. Perhaps there's a known bug I just don't know about. Uh, well, we're earning quite a bit of money. And we should probably go with... Do we have any city and a barony? I don't think we need to change any. Perhaps we could, could go for a few of levis for fun. And what's this? Um, as did Holy War for Trebizond. Who are they? Are they the Sunni Caliphate? Yes, they are. They are going for this. That would be awkward, cutting off um, part of the Byzantine Empire from Azov here. Right, I got scarred. That's a fine, uh, fine trait. And it's much better than dying. How is Germany doing, by the way? Germany is still lollard, if I'm not wrong. Yes, they are. They're facing a lot of holy wars. And just claim wars. Odd. Um, your heir is him. Okay, so we can go with... Could go with elective. And then put... No, I, I don't know. Perhaps that's... I don't know if I can nominate him. I think I can nominate him. So if I nominate him... as my heir. Oh, well, him, to be honest. Then I don't need to wait for... The thing is... Yeah, I can... Where is this guy? He is in... He's leading troops under him... Yeah, alright. So, I think switching to... Oh, that was quick. I think switching to elective and selecting uh, this guy, Belisarius Macedon, would be a great idea. He is currently in his... Uh... Alright. Because if we die, because we're out fighting so much, then we won't uh, lose this 10-year reign thing. So, let's go for elective. And nominate... Right, let's see. Oh, so it seems like we can't. We, we can nominate the him, but then we would lose everything. We could nominate the du Duke of Sicily. No, the, we couldn't. He's also an or Orphanotropos. Orphanotropos. We need... Let's see here. I guess we can only... Vote for people who are in our court. No, he's not in our court. So why can we not vote for him? He's 73 years old. Is he too old? Ah, I just wish I knew why I couldn't vote for him. He is next in line, right? Um, let's see... I saw it somewhere. The line of succession. I think it was here. Right, so Lucas of Croatia and him. We can vote for Meletius and try to murder Belisarius. We go vote for him. And uh, yes, that seems to be fine. And then we try to murder. Him. It's a bit weird that I need to do this, but I guess, uh, yeah, I guess. I guess it's fine. Unmarried heir. I could um, get you here with some money. No. 
Eh, uh, what? No, not invite to plot, invite to court. There we go. Then I can marry off the fine uh, young maiden. Let's see. Getting kids that are healthy are not going to be a priority here, seeing as it's, he's going to inherit into his seniority. But having good kids is never wrong in case you want to change it later. So let's go for a diplomat. And she seems to be perfect. So this guy needs to be able to kiss some serious ass. Let's go for some prestige. Why not? Alright, and let's see how this goes. Oh, 113. Can we get even more? Yes, we can. And invite you to plot. Yes. And then perhaps we can even murder the king of Bulgaria to make us inherit. Well, we, we there's no stress, really. So, uh, there we go. That should be enough. Should put our uncle in the line of succe succession here. And uh, hopefully I die. Really, I, I want to die now. I should go on bear, bear hunts and stuff. Uh, of course I can't because I have uh, a health trait. Great Holy War for Cumania. Let's see if they win it or not. Ruthenia is looking good. Are they ruled by a Russian is the question. They are, by the Kolmsky. The Kolmsky Russians. This is weird by the way, the Teutonic Order here is encircled by Lithuania. Oh, and Sweden has converted to uh, um, Catholicism, but they are facing a Norse uprising that seems to be taking the best of them. Norland has also converted. They are fighting for Jalmar's claim. Suomi, still Suominusko. So, are you up to something? The S raids? Yes, they are invading Andalusia. For the third time, I think. Uh, they're going to try to take that. No! Stupid drunkard. Damn you. Uh, Tirgoviste. Hmm. My son. Uh, whatever. It can be whatever you want. I do not judge. Here we have the Company of the Hat, still going strong, having eradicated the last of the Republics. Alright, a crusade for Aquitaine. This will probably place Aquitaine in the hands of someone with a claim, um, if I'm not wrong. No, actually, the title is... it doesn't exist. No, it exists! It, it exists, and the claimants are all Shia Muslims. All right. Well, then, uh, then it's going to go to do the one with the most contribution, I guess. Yeah, let's let's see if the Pope can do it this time. Do they have any kings? The King of Bohemia. It's nothing to. Uh, <laughs> they are this big, so it's really no nothing. It's really nothing. Oh, Karlsland has expanded into Denmark. And uh, they have fought Lithuania as well. For sex. Yeah, Karlsland is growing big and strong. Mm. Okay. Don't care. Lazy good for nothing, yeah, whatever. I am fine with that. I can still have no Ecclesiarch, which... Wait, castrate... Oh, I have people in my prison. Can I ransom them? I think I will. Um, so I want to go on grand hunts until I die. At least September. There we go. I want to do 
the most stupid shit imaginable. Because this is still seniority, yes it is. And his heir is Belisarius Macedon. Which will soon perish. That was anticlimactic. I'll go on another one then. <laughs> uh, whatever. Fine sport. Here we go. I just gained Master Hunter. Because I'm apparently invincible. I'll go on another Grand Hunt then. Come on. And uh, wounded is a great trait to have, if you wanna die. And instead I gain this. This is my kill. Okay, maimed. Holy fuck! <laughs> I'm the best hunter ever. Alright, well, that was a resounding failure of dying. <laughs> I just boosted everything. Like, so much martial and prestige and great traits and... Man. This game, right? When you wanna die, you can't die. And when you wanna live, you... Die from smallpox. How, how is Kamenia doing, by the way? Khan Tugor the Liberator. Are you Khan Tugor the Liberator? Alright, oh, so you're winning. Is Lithuania doing anything? Ruthenian ho- Isn't Ruthenia- Alright, so the only nation of size uh, that follows the Tengri religion is not going on the Great Holy War. That makes the least sense I've ever seen or heard. Alright, so Caliph Ezra seems to be winning this because there's only- let's see, there's the King of Scotland. That's something, I guess. But still, what I wanna do have is like the King of Italy and the King of Frisia and King of England. I wonder why they never join. It was the same thing in the Aliyah the Est campaign. The big nations never joined. Like Frisia, why why do you not join? They're fighting a civil war. Well that's no excuse. So Seriously, I need to kill this guy. Come on. Like you. I can give you money. And then invite you to plot. And I can do the same with you. Here, have some money and invite you to plot. And then... We need to make sure that we go on Grand Hunts as soon as it's available. Uh, I will find him someone nice. You will marry the Princess of Nubia. No, the Princess of England. That's nice. Are there any grown-up princesses? Princess of Frisia. She's old, though. Ah, she's good enough. Right, so let's keep on watching this button here. And go on grand hunts as soon as we can. Right. Kill him. Alright, so now he's dead and his heir should be... What, didn't he die? Did I not succeed with my plot? Wait. What did I do? But he's my heir as well. Seriously, I don't know what, what happened there, but this is the... No, okay, he turned... Oh, I see. He, he got three years older, so he... His hair turned grey, and I thought he was the other guy that I just murdered. Alright, well, uh, that's fine. Now we just need to die, and then we can murder the Bulgarian king. Well, we could murder the Bulgarian king already, really. If anyone would join, well, there's a few people. It'd be nice to kill him. Because the other guy, he likes us, right? Yeah, 100%. Why is he outraged by the succession war, Shane? 
Shall I take my blind wife to my isolated <laughs> country? No. I sponsor entertainment at the local court. Some music for her. Oh no, I missed. Oh, damn it, I missed the grand hunt. Damn. What else could I do that's incredibly dangerous? Are you taking my... No, you're taking the province I'm fabricating a claim on. Damn you, Emperor of Byzantium. Oh, I didn't know that... Um... Oh, well, nice. So, um, the Emperor is half uh, of Karlstein. Stein. Right, it... Ooh, it seems like the Papacy is actually winning the first crusade ever. Yes, Pope Sylvester. The drunkard. The Appiano. He's a capable Pope. He got mauled by a bear as a child. He's also a crusader, that's kind of cool. Like, he's, he's a silver Pope. He's a warrior Pope. He gets shit done. Oh, and Bavaria is ruled by an... Wait, what the fuck? What kind of culture is prevalent here? The... the shit? What? So it's a Danish guy ruling over Italians and Bulgarians. That doesn't make sense. The fuck? Well, uh, sure. I'm not here to judge. The AI can do whatever it likes. Alright. Yeah, we cannot nominate the king of Bulgaria. That would have been too easy. Did we just miss another... Oh. I'm not taking my eye off this. But we did hunt three times the first year, so I, I guess it's, uh, it's even. Uh, spy monster? What? Spy monster? Yes? Because I want to murder you? That's like the biggest percentage boost ever. <laughs> Not bad. That was a bad decision in your part, dude. Like the worst decision ever. Come on. At least September. And uh, the Knights of Calatrava. Who are Castilian. From the Castilla. Very, very clever there. So it's now owned by a, by a holy order. That's kind of cool, actually. We had holy orders in the other game as well. This one is uh, looking kind of weird. This should probably go to them. But knowing uh, the AI, they will never give it up. Unless we get Italy. Then I will definitely give it to the knights. Dukes Bernardin of Moesia declared Dukes Bernardin of Moesia's war for Bulgaria. Not if we can kill him first. Come on, come on. Um. Oh, he's king now. Oh, I see. Now I just need to die. <laughs> Go on a grand hunt. I'll find a white stag. Um, yes, wounded, please. Maimed. Did I get anything? No, of course not. Grand hunt over, come on. This is my kill. And a grand hunt. I did not gain any health traits because I could go on another hunt. This is my kill. Come on. Oh no, it's December. Did I get maimed? No, of course not. Oh. By the way, if this guy dies before. That's no good. We can't nominate him. 
for some reason. I don't know. It, it seems incredibly arbitrary if you can or cannot do that. And I cannot... Uh... So I, I really need to die. <laughs> I should not uh, squander every opportunity to go on a grand hunt. The pagan faithful defeated. Fuck, he died, of course he died. So he died, and this guy took over, and we can for some reason not nominate him. Which makes me incredibly annoyed. This guy, can we nominate him? Yes, we can nominate him. That's good though. Alright. He's older, wait, wait, he's older than us by... Just some years. Wait, how does this look? How can we inherit? By killing our uncle. No one wants to kill him. Damn it. Invite him to my court? Yes. Marshal? Well, sure. So if I impress if I imprison him and then m just simply murder him I already have it done it um, my air I will Perhaps I should save him for a while. Let's see. If I die, I become him. If the king of Bulgaria dies first, which is really give or take. Then let's see. Let's let's uh, cancel this plot. I don't need it anymore. If he dies, my heir becomes the king, and my heir is about as old as me. He's celibate. Um. But if I die... Okay, so if I die, I become him. If he dies, he becomes him. Yeah. I, I guess it's best to keep him alive. For now. I would uh, really like to... Where, where did the Bulgarian headquarters go? Bulgaria? I would like to kill you. Or I want to see if I can kill you. Well, some people would definitely join. And there were one I could bribe. Invite you to plot. Is there anyone else? You. Send a gift, yes. Invite to plot, yes. And then I will probably keep him in prison at least, yes. So he doesn't run away. Now he is in prison, which means. Oh, my wife died. I could get a new one. I want a diplomacy wife. And I only care about the diplomacy, not anything else. So let's see. She is the best one, I guess. Or she is probably the best one. She's got good stewardship and um, intrigue. Yeah, I'll go for her. And gain some prestige. Let's hope that I get an event message soon. Oh, what the fuck? Did this guy give like 121%? Yes. Alright, I need to kill him. That would make me the heir. Alright, my son. That would make me the heir to Bulgaria. You, yes. Look out below. Let's do this. There we go. We are now Bulgaria. Now let's see. Are we... We are still a seniority. That's, I'm actually fine with that. That's fun. So, we are involved in a few wars. Um, which we are handily winning, I think. 
Let's see, this is not our war, this is the Byzantine War. This is Galazian War for someone's claim on Bulgaria. And this is someone's war for Bulgaria as well. Could we just go for white peace here? Just simply not uh, for white peace to everyone. Oh, you didn't wanna peace out after all. all right. We did imp Oh man, there's so much King of a lake here. Yeah. I don't wanna create that. Impress the jeweler claims on a lot of stuff. Righteous imprisonment of my courtier because acted dishonorably. Acted dishonorably. Alright, we will probably imprison all of them. After we finish this war. Factions in the Byzantine Empire. Well, I don't mind. Can I... How does my vassals like me? They like me just fine, it seems. Should I... Yeah, I should just butter up to them while I can. That's my only duke vassal. Eh, I'll, I'll have them around. Oh, so he did accept my peace offer. Alright. Dismiss hired armies. Alright, so we have quite a big retinue. I like it. Is it the biggest retinue we can have? No, we can have more. We can't have a good one. Alright, so this guy. We hold two dukedoms. We can hold three without problem, I think. Yes, we should. He holds a one province duchy, that's not a lot. Alright, so we do have some de jure claims here to press. Against this Avar Orthodox dude, and is this de jure? Uh, it's not. We could. Well, we can de jure claim him. I think we should. And then we should de jure claim this guy as well. Alright, raise the armies! Gather them up here. Oh, and I need to make sure uh, he likes me. Does his heir like me? He does. I... Possible plot power. Oh, that's incredibly useful. That must be new. Uh, I guess that's not... Good enough. Why do you hate me? Oh, because uh, I am ambitious. Meet up here, man. Uh, well, you don't even matter, so I'll not give him the war score. Oh, of course I have more troops here. Send them over. Move out. in allies, I don't think we need to. This guy, why does he not like us? Oh, because I'm dishonorable. Alright. Well, that's going to pass. I'm not going to fight. Great. Right, some daughters, always nice to have some alliances. Take these out. Getting some children of my own. Right, I must make sure that my spy master likes me. Oh, he's the one who helped me! That's awesome. And now I can have Ecclesiarchs. He's leading my army. Seriously, this guy. This guy. Oh, fuck. I can't give him even more money. I wish I could. He deserves everything he gets. was easy. So he is now under my vassal here. My domestic. Oh, I have too much stuff. That's why they hate me. 
Uh, I need to get rid of this barony and this here. And I still have one thing too much. How does my personal domestic look? This is not all my personal stuff, right? No, it's not. So, I had one duke. I have two dukes. Duke of Moesia. And you have everything? I think. You don't want this. You want the county of Nicopolis. What? Because you have Moldau. Can I revoke it? Oh, oh, I see. He's a traitor. Well, then I, I think I'll revoke Moesia. No, not Moesia. Moldau. Maybe. He says, I'll do it later. And then I'll give it to someone who likes me. Because that, ladies and gentlemen, makes sense. And apparently I ran into a French army. <laughs> I don't need this. Just disband. <sighs> Righteous imprisonment. I think I'll imprison you. I don't even know who you are. Yeah, flee. I'll, I'll not... Uh, the, the blind guy is my brother from now on out. Uh, sure, get the old team together. I think prove my relations with him. Well, it's not going to last. Or well, is it? No, he's not even my vassal. Damn, he's just a random guy in the Byzantine Empire who happens to be my friend. No longer diligent. It's too bad I lost off, lost the benefits of the grand hunts I did. Right, the sun. Son, when you're 80 years old, you will take over my kingdom. Because I, I'll keep it as seniority. For sure. Wait, what? Moldau. So he usurped it. Then I don't even need to... Still wants Nicopolis, Taurus... Because he has Transylvania. Oh, I missed that. Alright, so... I wanna see how much do you own. You own Belgorod and... Well, I, I could give you some stuff. The county of Perechsen. Transfer... Count of Perechsen. Give you some money. And, uh, you suddenly like me. My domestic is still too big, though. I'll fix it soon, I promise. So I do think I control this, which is part of this duchy here. And who controlled that? That was... Oh, I have the Duchy of Valachia. I'll give it away, I think. To someone who, who loves me. Like a family member. My son or something. I need to finish this war first. So, Transylvania. The Duchy of Transylvania is this. Do I control this? No. It just wants control over this. But that's my Mysticos. I think I will revoke Transylvania from him. And have him hate me because I don't fucking care. His heir is uh, this girl. I'll give her some money. Hm. Seems I will gain some land with my vassal inheritances. May he burn in everlasting hellfire. Um, the fuck? Magistros? Do I really have. Seriously? Like the worst magistrus ever, but sure, I'll go with it. Improve relations here. I should also move everyone to my new capital in, in Thrake. You should uh, yeah, do some tech spread. 
Um, train troops. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, take this duchy. 100%. Yes. So now you are my direct vassal and you don't like me. I will give this duchy to someone in my court that likes me a whole great deal. Not the blind guy, though. How about this guy? Gabrielo Poulos. He's uh, content as well. I like the sound of that. Why would you gain such random stuff? Are you under Carvuna? That's random. And you control more than one, I guess. Control that one and... Oh, let me see. Galas. And uh, that one. Hmm. Makes it all so much weirder. Um, well, okay. I will give you... The Duchy of Wallachia. And you can sort it out between yourselves. At least you will love me. Now for someone who will hate me. And this guy. Wait, where is he? There he is. We'll revoke the Duchy of Transylvania from you. Will not allow you to steal my title. Well, you will. You don't really have a say in the matter. And you have six troops. For fuck's sake. Seriously, where are you even going? Oh, someone did join uh, the Duchy of bon Bononia. Well, I, I better not. Oh, he's he's doing a diversion. And I became exalted among men. Hell yeah! That means my vassals um, like me even more, right? Because I became exalted among men. Yeah, plus ten. Hey, come to me, dudes. Be the best leaders. Not myself, though. Right, that's a minor victory. Still a victory. And that's definitely another victory. Good thing this guy will end up in prison, because he's going to hate my guts. I am a tyrant, but I am exalted among men. And half of you go there. And siege away. I wonder where his six troops went. <laughs> and the son, a sickly son. Uh, are you up to? As did invasion of Africa. Ooh, it's the Sunni Caliphate. It's taking Africa. Now what are you gonna do? You've lost uh, everything except this. Some kind of Egyptian Berber Spain is what we're going to have, it seems. <laughs> By the way, Sweden is, uh, yeah, it's still Christian, at least. It's not Norse. Lollardism is all but gone, though. It's been replaced by Orthodoxy and Catholicism. Wait, who is that? Is that someone against me? No, it's not. Or it can't be. Fuck's sake, you did, didn't need to go and die. Someone else, then. Mm, I don't like you. You suck. No, let's invite a few nobles. 
Niketas of Squill Ace. <laughs> no, that's not one of them. And uh, no, he was ambitious. This guy has bad stats. That's not even one of the nobles I united. I should just... No, I, I'll not give him something over here. He's got a claim on my title. Didn't I invite four guys? Ah, there we go. Zero diplomacy, but he's content. There you go. Siege quicker, my minions. Need to seize this land for my excellent spy master. Spy master slash coolest guy in the entire world. Even though he's blind, he sees more than most men. <laughs> he seriously does. He can't. He can't even clean his house properly. But he knows a thing or two. He he listens. When you can't see, you listen. Also helps being paranoid, I guess. Who are... What, what's happening? What are we converting? Oh, I see. It's lots of Catholicism we are converting. I see. I see. It seems like... Uh, the um, Sunni Caliphate has... Uh, <laughs> awaken from its slumber. I, I said some sometime earlier that uh, I thought it would be. Uh... What the fuck, by the way? Is this mine? This is. Hmm. I see. <laughs> I own a chunk of this. Weird. Odd. Incredibly odd. But uh, sure, Bulgaria is split into two realms. Flanking my small armies when I'm and when when I've already won the war. Trying every trick in the book. Right, more sons. Ephesus. Oh, siege quicker, siege quicker. Wanna win this war? Could claim this little province here. Breton. Did not expect that, I have to say. Alright, so, so Dutch has started to take hold here in uh, Germany. By the way, what is this guy? Oh, he's Breton. Of Buckingham. Awesome. Try pronouncing that. Right, so you surrender. Excellent. And then I will revoke Transylvania. And give it to this guy. Dutch of Transylvania. Alright, and then I think we will end this episode. Thank you for watching and tune in for episode 3 of Bulgaria. See you soon.